do we want to do more or uh, what do you guys think? Yo, anime apparently. Don't mind me. The milk? Did they get the milk? Yeah. Get them some milk. We don't want no fuss and we don't want to hurt you, alright? Yeah, we just want your money, that's all. And you'll give it to us, won't you, without any fuss? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, she just killed them! Oh my god. A spell a Mustang. Thank you, Nomageddon. For your five months. And can it Canada Demon for four months. And Dark Rannix for 28 months. The, the Fire Witch! Fire Witch. Tell me about it! <laughs> you got it! Thank you, Sophia, please. What? What is this place? Oh, now it's me. Yep. Yep. The room is lit, but it's still somehow dark. This the room is lit. feels... lit. Nick! What are we doing in a place like this? How should I know? We're just a couple of bakers, but I don't think they brought us here to make bread. Yikes. Is it just me or is that guard staring daggers at us right now? Uh, uh snake. Nope. Well if it's the captain, who knows? Might be. We don't know yet. I'll do it for safety. Mr. Right! Maya! It's a spella. <laughs> <laughs> oh a spella, I know that voice. What's going on? Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to send for y'all. You sent for us? I'm being, I'm being put on trial, done fucked up. Wait, what? What happened? Kill some dudes. I mean, I don't know. I just don't understand what's going on. I didn't do anything wrong other than murder. B -b -b murder? I beg you, Mr. Rock, please, I need your assistance. Just one more time. Huh? You need my help? What can I possibly do? Spella, I'm just a baker. The only thing I know about law is okay. how not to get on the wrong side of it. Why does Why does he think he's a baker? Because he got fucked up when he came to this world? Yeah, I'm guessing I guess so. that's okay. kind of like how Archer became Bob's Burger Man. Do you remember that, that episode? That crossover, I do. Thank yeah, you for the it's analogy. just like that the analogy, if that helps you out better. Uh, wait. Hold on a sec. A spell? Uh, what did you just say? You just said you need Nick's help just one more time? One more time? That's a contradiction. We never helped you. Whoa. I'm not quite sure myself. But when the knights came and took me, a vision suddenly appeared in my mind. <clears throat> it was it was Mr. Hrat. <gasps> he was fighting for me, defending me. That brave blue figure. It was clear as day on a summer's eve. I was fighting for you. Was it a fighting spinoff game? N no way. That's impossible. I mean. It's like I already said. I'm just a baker. I've had a hard enough time rolling dough let around defending someone in court. I thought the same thing too at first, but I don't think it's quite true. You and Maya. At the same time. Or sometime somewhere. Y'all help me. You fall for me as a defender. A defender? What's wrong, Nick? I wish I knew, Maya. But you're in a spell and mention a defender. Give me a boner. Can't help but get a fucking boner right now. 
Accused, defender! Get this time, head forth, you too! Head forth? Uh, where, where are we going exactly? To the courtroom, you dingus! The Chamber of Secrets! Oh, uh, ch 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 chamber of secrets. Make haste. You were a moment late. The basilisk will get you. Holy shit! N -n 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 Nani? W no way, Mr. Rat. Ah, uh, I'm truly sorry, Mr. Rat. I know this is all so sudden. I just really like murdering people. It's a lost cause, isn't it? Well then, let's head inside, Espella. Alright. This is overwhelming pressure. It feels so familiar somehow. Almost like deja vu. I feel like I've been in this place before. Don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I thought <laughs> Maya, sorry. Let's go, Maya. Maybe we'll get a better idea once the trial gets underway. All right, let's do it, Nick. I forget how I made Phoenix sound. Is that how he sounds? Yeah, I think okay. it's your normal voice. Okay. What is this heat? That's it's not. It's like an oven in here. That's not him. Rabble. I will now <laughs> pronounce the verdict. Damn this that judge. Court finds the accused guilty of being a witch. All right. Yo, that was fast. <laughs> you suck, Phoenix. Bad end. Oh. Oh wait, what? Yo, is they? Are they about to burn her? Oh my God. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. What? Dude, what the fuck? This is the the witch's court. Oh my god, that got fucking heavy. Dude, let's not that fucking lose this hand game. Of Holy shit. So, uh, how you feeling, Nick? <laughs> um, you feeling good? Uh, You're a baker, but you gotta do this. I've forgotten what this felt like up until now. What? Huh? The butterflies in my tummy, Tom. The tension's so... Yeah. You could slice it with a knife. All these feelings. These are all feelings that I'm definitely familiar with. Yeah, w w w actually, what is this game rated? I don't know, actually. What is That's this just straight burning a lady. Yeah, the first uh, eight games, I believe. Oh, oh my. That's pretty good. Hmm. Actually, yeah. it's It can't be E for everyone, right? Rated G for graphics and gore. That's Oil. not right in here in the States. T for teen? Is it T? Oh, it's T? Okay, it's T. Alright, we got proper confirmation. It's PG-13. If it's T, then you can go hard. That's pretty cool. Anyway... We're here to fight for Espella. And get her out of this place. Oh, that's right! The court is now in session for the trial of Espella Cantabella. Defender. Yes, Your Honor? Yours is a face I've not seen in any past trials. But no matter. Start by stating your name, Defender. Yes, Your Honor. My name is Phoenix Wright, Ace Baker. A baker? I asked him to come, my lord. I want him to represent me. This court dictates that the accused is free to assign a defender of their choosing, my lord. Hmm, very well. At any rate, the result of this trial shall not change. That aside, I've not yet seen hide nor hair of the Inquisitor assigned to this trial. Inquisitor? I hope it's oh, Edgeworth. Right. I should have noticed earlier. No one's there. I really hope it's Edgeworth. Should the assigned Inquisitor fail to appear in court, I will have no choice but to dismiss all charges. 
Whew, That'd be great. An this is an easy Canada, case. Yeah. Does not come forward soon. Just kill the Inquisitor. This trial will end, and victory will then be declared in favor of this baker. Hold it! Oh. Big that, hold it. Who's that? It's Godot. Oh, rabble! Rabble, rabble! Rabble, 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 rabble! Oh shit, it's Griffith. We're fucked. Oh, that's really bad. Take off the helmet. Let me see your eyes. Take off the head thing. Do we know this guy? No. Roy. Ah, it's Roy's our boy. Roy's our boy. Knights of the court, I have but one question for you both. Are you prepared to cross swords? Wink. I, Inquisitor Zacharias Barnum, am indeed prepared to do battle, my lord. Something amiss, Baker? Sorry, Your Honor, I just didn't realize we could have swords here in the courtroom. It is the way of the court knight. A knight must always ensure that he rides with a blade at his side. Now then, state your name, sir. Blue Knight. Huh? My name's Phoenix Wright. I'm a baker. How many times will they make me say it? A baker? Nick, quit with the long face. You look miserable. No need to waste your breath. This trial will be over before you can utter a single objection. Just do it right now, just to be a dick. Objection! Objection. For the security of all of Labyrinthia, my blade shall rend your defenses swiftly and without mercy. Oh. That's it, bottom. Oh, I know I am his creature. He fuck him up, dude. Yeah, kill him. Kill that baker. This guy's pointless. Oh, God, the baker. Oh, he's the guy. I'm fucking weird. Stupid dog, man. Yeah, don't we defend our trial, too? I Hello. say, fuck that guy, Hello. too. Fucking burn him, too. He's a I hate dude. everybody. Burn him. 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 This Wait, is that why his name is Barnum? Because burn him? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Actually, you'd hardly think this was a courtroom. The crowd doesn't seem very interested in law, that's for sure. It's like they're all just hoping for a guilty verdict. Alright, Judge. Inquisitor Barnum, you may begin with your opening statement. I really hope this is the same fucking judge. <laughs> Um, uh, Russ is usually the the, the defendant. Yeah, so. he's gotta be. As you wish, me lord. Work, work. <laughs> Let us begin by recounting the events leading up to the murder. Is that acceptable, Sir Apprentice Baker? Uh, as you wish. The murder occurred this very evening. Yesterday, there was a heavy rainfall in the area. Eventually, it gave way to the sunshine, just became uh, which came just in time as today's parade. Although a few hours after the parade ended, the rain set in once more. That might have been when a spell and the others were at the Great Archive. It continued to rain just up until before the incident, which took place on a small path leading to the market. The accused had been out doing some shopping. She returned home on that very same path. And on that path, two rogues named Robs and Mugs are said to have accosted the accused. One could assume the accused simply acted in self-defense. <laughs> Whatever. I see. Robs and Mugs. Those two have appeared in court a number of times in the past. Two rogues, huh? So far, it may appear that the accused was more the victim, however the situation soon changed. That's right, the accused, the Spella Cantabella. Knowingly and mercilessly murdered her two assailants. Please clap. Cantabella? That girl. Mm. 
Thank you, Random Life, for your tier 2 subscription. Also, no face for your 13 months. Appreciate it, guys. I always knew she looked suspicious. Shh, not so loud. Yikes. There's that weird excitement again. I believe we now fully grasp what happened. It is getting right a light already. Let's begin the trial. Tell me about it! Inquisitor Barnum, you may now begin. As you wish, my lord. The Inquisition will now hear eyewitness testimony regarding the night of the murder. Eyewitness testimony, huh? Looks like this trial is finally getting underway. I can't back down now. I have to fight. I'm just a simple bread-making baker, living a simple bread-making life. Ugh, the situation is more twisted than a pretzel. I'm smack in the middle of it. But, I have to do this to save a spella. Okay, <laughs> let's see Bless if I can you. untwist this testimony and... S I don't... For some reason, my mind really got locked on that sneeze. That was a good sneeze. Thanks, man. For the good job. Okay, let's see if I can untwist this testimony and put this thing to bed. Thank you, Redfire, for your 24 months, by the way. Thanks. <gasps> Yo, we know some of these people. Thanks, Salty Scout. Mm. Allow me to welcome you all. Now, would each of you please state your name and occupation? Hold it! Hold it! Wait a minute. What's going on here? As I heard explained, Sir Princess of Baker, this is the uh, eyewitness testimony. Yeah, I understand that, but there are four witnesses. Indeed. This many people inside the courtroom could pose a health and safety issue. Your Honor, that's uh, not quite what I meant. Witness testimonies are supposed to be done one by one, as in one witness at a time. That's right, young man. We've witnessed the very hand of fate reach out this very evening. She's adorable. The path to knighthood is a arduous one, but I remain steadfast in my resolve as I travel down this long road. I shall not falter! I, I will be victorious! The way that fucking rubber, like rubbered, yeah, did you see how it it's rubbered? All, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wiggling? Oh, it's a wiggly diggly. That's good. Rabble, 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 rabble! Who cares, rabble, rabble? Just crush them all at once, rabble, rabble! We already know the girl in the cage didn't rabble, rabble. Let's get on with the rabble, rabble. Yeah, rabble, rabble. This is already Rabble Rabble. I'd like to go back people. home and get to bad Rabble Rabble. Barn him! Barn him! Barn him! Barn him! Barn him! Barn him! Witnesses again state your names and occupations. I am known as Wordsmith. But what is a name? How doth one describe an occupation like the bubbling of a babbling brook? I flow gracefully around the rocks and debris that is life. Very a worry in my mind. Right, so I guess that means he's jobless. My name is Mary, and this darling kid is Snowy. Bet. Snowy and I often travel to the edge of town to sell delicious fresh meat. Look like that doesn't happen overnight. I work my hands to the bone, squeezing each drop out. Literally. Sounds pretty frightening. <laughs> we might actually need her to say words. By the way, her name's Kira. Mm hmm. And make sure she's the killer. Oh. Right. 
What that's, a witch. She's the witch, dude. Has that's who did it. That's crazy. Wow. All right, we're good. Fuck it. Fuck off, Eris. I was about to say it. <laughs> I believe I finished my line. <laughs> Damn it. All right, fine. Yeesh, talk about a hard sell. My name is Knightly. I aim to join the town's order of knights. I am study night and day, though I am still but a mere squire. Joining the knights of the Inquisition is my life's ambition. Join the... And I Knightly will do whatever is necessary to join. Even lie. So he's jobless too. Honorable witnesses, I ask that you show this court your best when delivering your testimonies. Now tell us exactly what you all saw on that ill-fated E. This one. Take that. Where's Tasmo? The delicious scent of mid-evening dinner permeated the air, and a soft light shone frankly in the distance. Mugs grabbed the girl by the arm. Yeah. It looked like he almost pushed her to the ground. I heard a faint voice cry out. This is uh, in her brain, by the way. The next moment, a full villainous member burst into flames. There was not a trace of fire to be seen in the area. Without a doubt, magic must have been used. <sighs> Magic? Sir Princess Baker, you may now begin your interrogation. I have but one piece of advice. I suggest you pay it heed. Do not waste the court's time by grilling each of these witnesses over irrelevant nonsense, Sir Princess Baker. Are you alright, Nick? Sure love calling you a press breaker, huh? <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Maya. I have no idea how I'm feeling right now, but I know it's all up to me. As her defender, the spell is fate. It's in my hands. <laughs> I have to believe in her, and I need to start believing in myself. I can do this. I believe a spell is innocent, and I'll fight until the end to prove it. Yeah, that's your spirit. I can do this thing. Nick. But we saw her cutscene, and she killed him. Wow. No meta. Okay. Okay, so, delicious scent of mid-evening dinner permeated the air, and a soft light shone faintly in the distance. Muggs grabbed the girl by the arm, and it looked like he almost pushed her to the ground. I heard a faint voice cry out the next moment those two villainous men burst into flame. There was not a trace of fire to be seen in the area. Without a doubt, magic must have been used. Interesting. Can we, do we have any evidence? Is that not a thing anymore? So we don't do that. Nice. What's wrong with your face? It's just, it's just, he had a little swivel. Oh no, we're trying to... No. Do not do that. Okay. That was scary. I almost fucked up. I will okay. be right back. Okay. Okay, so I heard a faint voice cry out the next moment. I feel like... This one's a little something. Because in the cutscene, we didn't see Mugs grab anyone on the arm. Right? I don't think so. I'm gonna press her. But that's meta knowledge. Hold it! Yeah, it is. Muggs is one of the two rogues. Is that correct? That's right. That man, he grabbed the girl's arm and pulled out a knife. Huh? Uh, 
It, is something wrong? Or was it Rob's that grabbed the girl and held the knife? Huh? Oh dear. Now let's see. Lux was the short one and Rob's was the... No, no. I think it was the other way around. It doesn't really matter which one was doing now, does it? How am I supposed to keep track of those ruffians? Bet. No one was asking you to. For the record, Muggs was the short one. Oh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so, that didn't do much. The, the faint voice crying out is something. But this one here, the delicious scent of meat eating dinner permeated the, the... I don't see how this is useful. How is this useful? Delicious scent of evening dinner permeated the air. And the soft light shone. Because that means he didn't see it being an eyewitness. He was looking at some fucking light. Oh yeah. Uh, Press it. Hold it. Um, what time would that be exactly? Oh, Snake's not here. Dinner Heck. time. What else would the scent of dinner be in the air if not dinner time? Do you see? Not so much. The sun had already set it by time. Uh, that should be adequate. I just noticed there's a court record button right here. On the yeah. top right. Was that always there? Yeah, it's always been there. Oh. Click it. Him to shape. Yeah, that's Click probably it helpful. Up. Accuse, it's not too late. Uh, the use of witchcraft to burn two male victims alive. Okay, that's not a lot to go on. The sun had already set. Um, so... You clearly witnessed what happened tonight. Is that correct? I moved up to witness this. I must have clearly witnessed something. Do you see? In that case, how much light was there in the immediate area at that time? Do you see? Oh. Enough to the sea, the nose of my face, but not enough to see the trees ahead. Do you see? No, no, no. I, that doesn't add up. If the area was completely dark, then you couldn't possibly have witnessed anything. Do you see? What did you just say to me? See? Nevertheless, something caught my eye. It was the most ominous sight. Ominous is what the sight was. Uh, okay, I get it. It was ominous. Objection! Objection! Poor form, Sir Prentice Baker. What? I hate to disappoint you, but there was, in fact, light in the area. Huh? Take a look at this. This is a drawing of the crime scene based on the witnesses' accounts, as penned by the court illustrator. Why does nobody give us this stuff? The court illustrator? I've never heard of that before. Look carefully. This shows that the scene looked like this at the time of the murder. Oh no. Illustration of the highest quality as always. Now then, we have established that by the time the murder occurred, the sun had already set. As Whoa. shown by this, right here. So, naturally, the defendant was carrying a fire lit lantern, as we can see. A, a lantern? Eureka, indeed. Yes, it. that is what I was saying earlier. There was a lantern, a lantern, I say. Oh, please, you totally forgot. To be honest, I did not imagine it would be necessary to present this, but... My lord, here's the lantern in question. This is what was responsible to the light, the light illuminating a little in there, Lydia. 
Very well. The court accepts this into evidence. Lantern a spell was holding a glass is broken and covered in mud. 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 In mud. A, how were they burned if there's like mud and stuff? Witches, my lord. Oh. Speaking of which, is Inquisitor Barnum in this drawing? Yeah, like there's a puddle. The key seems to be holding a milk bucket of sorts. What became of this? We drank the milk. That, uh... Is the strange case indeed, my lord. Uh, the bucket... Just, it, we don't know. It disappeared. Let's go. The milk bucket disappeared, you say? There has been talk of wolves lying, living in the nearby forest. It is thought uh, they often make off with items they find on the ground. Great. Wolves that steal your stuff. Remind me to never set foot in that forest. This is great, Nick! We got no evidence now! Look at... Look at... Look at... I see him, I... I see him, I... You know, Nick... You really don't look like you're some sort of normal run-of-the-mill baker. I see you're more like a uh, somewhat articulate run of the mill bait. I think you might even have a knack for being a defender. Oh shit, I'm sorry. There's a clear contradiction somewhere in that testimony. And I'm gonna find it. Okay. So, Mugs grab the girl by the arm. Don't we have a picture? Where's the picture at? We didn't get the picture yet. What? That would help. Wait, who's Mugs? Uh, profiles, please. Profiles. See the short one. He's the short one, according yeah. to the judge. No, according to Barnum. So how could he push her to the ground if he's the short one? Mm -hmm. Oh god, there's so many buttons. Okay, I wish we could see that picture though. Yeah, right. Hmm. Does it want to look like the tall guy was grabbing her? Well, this is Unless broken. I was mistaken. Broken mud. Yeah, one second. Faint voice cried the next moment. Two villains men burst into flames. There's not a trace of fire to be seen in the area. Without a doubt, magic must oh, have been used. Oh, she had a fucking lantern, yo. Yeah. Mm hmm. You big liar, Knightley. How could you? I'm just gonna present the lantern then. Hell yeah, boy. Here you go, motherfucker. Objection. Whoa. Why do you do that? It was at that moment that he knew he had fucked up. <laughs> what is that... that feeling? I just felt the urge to shout out. Right from the bottom of my lungs. While pointing my finger. Objection. I can't help but feel that's a word I've used quite a bit in the past. That's it. I remember now. I remember everything. Let me tell you tell about, me about it. it. The legal League of Attorneys. Exchange. The spell is trial. And then I'm telling you about it. In that strange book. This feeling. I feel like I can take on the world. Witness. <laughs> what was the sun pointing? I I am soon to be a member of the honorable Knights of the Inquisition. How oh, I ch I accept your challenge. Have at ye. You say that no fire was present at the scene of the crime, meaning the defendant must have used magic. Unfortunately for you, that is not the case. What do you mean, Sir Prentice Baker? What I mean is that the defendant was, in fact, carrying a lantern. A lantern containing fire! Those two rogues were actually burned by the flame that was inside that lantern. 
That is the only logical explanation! This guy's fucking dumb. My, what a startling conclusion you've come to, Sir Apprentice Baker. What do you mean? The only logical explanation? Do you agree <laughs> with this statement, honorable witnesses? It is presumptuous for a man that knows nothing to claim that he knows something about which he really knows nothing. Huh? It they is presumptuous for a man. <laughs> Besides, how could one teeny tiny flame be strong enough to set them both ablaze like that? Uh. There were two of them. How could that flame engulf them so fast? Ah. Uh. Furthermore, if they did burn as you claim they did, if. Do you mean they suggest they were soaked in oil or something? Oh. Well, Sir Blue Knight, it would seem you've bitten off more than you can chew. That is bitten off highlighted. I don't know. I definitely didn't see that coming. What say you, my lord? Do you have any thoughts on the proceedings so far? Given the testimony as we have heard it, the court has come to its conclusion. It was truly a gruesome and merciless act, an act for which only one thing could be held responsible. The nefarious crime of magic. Dude, if people could do magic, that would be awesome. Don't outlaw it. Embrace it. It's good. yeah. That's lit. Random Alley, thank you for gifting five fucking subs. Damn. Shit, Ramona. <sighs> Wait, do we finally have enough? Hold on a second. <sighs> Hold on. Hold on. I'm excited. That's, that's terrifying. <gasps> Guys. Lay emote. Guys. We what? finally reached 5,000 out of 5,000 something. Holy shit. What a milestone. It's, it's exactly 5,000 out of 5,000. It's actually. Canceling. It technically needs to go over 5,000. 61 mo months of fucking work, dude. Don't do it. Technically, technically we haven't reached it yet because it needs wow. to be more than 5,000, but we what still reached. What viewers? I, God. <laughs> I find that. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Oh shit, oh shit, there it goes. All right. Bam! So if I reload it now. Two in a row. Oh, come on guys, we just need 100 oh, more. Sorry. Hold on, let's see, let's see. Bam, it worked! Oh, guys. Oh shit, I'm sorry. That's awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Holy shit. And then the next one is in 400 points? Jesus Christ. Oh. Only 400 more, guys. You can do it. <laughs> Just 400 gift subs. That's all you Just 400 do. gift subs. Thank you, Baba Bully. Forehead. For your prime sub. 400 oh, heads. And he was <laughs> taken. Subs, forehead. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> cool as there. Uh, pajama Rider, uh, Ray Kender, nice pants for 36 months, and no leaky. Tell me about it. Thanks, guys. Alright. Let's go. Rabble, 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 rabble. Rabble! Oh, hold, hold it. Wait! Wait just a second! Is there something you've forgotten to mention, Defender? Not exactly, Your Honor. It's just that, I mean, you said magic. That can't be right, can it? What are you suggesting, Sir Apprentice Baker? Witches use magic which in turn brings about disaster. So, is that the way of this world? Is it not? Well, yeah. It may seem to be the case. But no way is it actually possible. This court finds a spell accountable on the accused, charged with being a witch. A spell a... a witch? 
of which is existence in this world is a crime in itself. The ability to use and control magic is a criminal offense indeed. As such, any witch found practicing magic will be sentenced to death by fire. Green Squad. No! Y'all wrong! I ain't no magic lady! Sir Apprentice Baker, do you not envy your current predicament? Or I do not, rather. Whatever. My lord! And um, the guilty verdict against this witch immediately. OBJECTION! Objection. Hold the fucking phone, babot! I think you ran him out. I find more fucking gift subs. God damn, damn girl! Shit. Anyway. There is no evidence to prove that any magic was really used! What a suck in it, Brett Boy. We all heard her cast a spell. Huh? That's right! Show it, I heard it! Is it alright, Precious? We heard that incantation quite clearly! Uh. No, 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 no. I was thinking it was a spell of choice. Ah. Uh. These ears do not lie! I clearly heard an incantation most sinister. Ignazi! It was. Incantation? Incantation? That's no good. I just can't wrap uh, my head around this topsy turvy otherworldly court. Well then, it would seem the defense has no further objections. I win. <gasps> it appears so. Ooh. Ooh, I haven't had one of them in a while. The oh, court finds the use of magic at the time of the murder to be an undeniable fact. Furthermore, the honorable witnesses have stated that they each heard an incantation being recited. The court finds no reason to delay its verdict any longer. Nick, we have to do something! I know, but what exactly can we say? Here in this world, our sense of logic is completely useless. This court is ready to hand down its verdict for the case of Espella Cantabella. Hold it! <gasps> Professor Layton? Objection! Hell yeah! Rolling up, looking like a badass. Dude, look at this fuck hiding in the ice beneath this <laughs> wow. door. Look at this guy. I request that the court hold its verdict a moment longer. What? What is the meaning of this intrusion? Give us a puzzle. I have something I believe will be of use to the defense. A weapon of sorts. Th that's. The Grand Grimoire. All of this world's magic is contained within its pages. Without it, this trial cannot reach a satisfactory conclusion. The Grand Grimoire. This is weird. This is weird. We meet again, Mr. Ray. Well now, it seems things are afoot here. Although the real contest begins now. Are you fully prepared? So, are you here to help us? Of course. The professor always helps people in trouble. It is the duty of every gentleman. Right, professor? Gentle sir. <laughs> professor? There is a saying that I find quite useful in situations such as this. There is a time for words and a time for action. Right. You have been working as a baker in the town up until now, have you not? Action is coming. Action is coming. I must say, I'm a little mystified. I'd have expected you were more familiar with the world and its system of magic. Uh, yeah. How can I put this? I guess that's not quite the full story. Is that so? I kinda had an epiphany just now. I remember all sorts of things, like how I'm not actually a baker, and, well, how magic can't really exist. Dots. Well then, 
It seemed seem I was correct about you, Mr. Wright. You are not, in fact, a citizen of this town, is that correct? Right. At least, it seems that way. However, for now, you have no option but to accept this world and its rules as reality. Without first understanding those rules, I'm afraid you will not be able to save Miss Cantabella. B but things like magic only exist in fairy tales and make-believe! I'm afraid, Mr. Wright, it would seem magic does in fact exist in this world. Such a truth cannot be denied. <laughs> Indeed. Thanks. That is why the Grand Grimoire is the weapon well suited for this witch trap. At least the moment you are tantamount to a knight without a sword. I feel more like an attorney without a chance, actually. Right then, Mr. Wright. I'll explain how the Grand Grimoire works. Yo, is this like... The Monado? Monado! Oh shit. Oh, my Grand dude. Monado! Have a look at the touch screen. There you'll see the Grand Grimoire put on. Whoa! Are you saying we can cast spells? We can oh. burn the witch ourselves. Lit. Uh. I did it. What do you. What do you want me to do? I pressed it. Okay. Cast it, idiot. Uh. Oh. <laughs> right. Touching. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm bluffing. All right, go. Grand Grimoire Baton will open up the Grand Grimoire. You will be able to present spells from the Grand Grimoire in much the same way you present evidence. That's kind of cool, actually. This book will surely be most important as asset for us in this trial. Oh, that reminds me. I've gone ahead and bookmarked the spell Ignaz for you. That's helpful. It needs a scepter. Ignaz, that's a magic spell, all right? If the witness said they heard it, right? Nick. Just take a look at that spell! Okay. So, in a circle of flame within one meter, it raises the caster, requires incantation, and scepter to pass. <gasps> You're right. We didn't have a scepter. It's no good. All I have to do is touch the grand grid wing while by light. Also, thank you, uh, Mosh Pit in the Sky and Linden Row. The Defenders. Been given more than enough time. It would seem this trial has reached its end. Is that understood, Sir Prentice Baker? This case is quite straightforward with very little room of doubt. Or doubt. The witness's testimony, coupled with the illustration of the time of the murder, makes it quite clear that you have. Uh, uh, what has occurred? This murder was the result of magic. And furthermore, the caster said magic was no other than the accused. That, Sir Prentice, is the truth! Best to go back to your baking, where I believe your days in the courtroom have crumbled. <laughs> is everything okay, Mr. Ray? Sorry, words affect me sometimes. Wait, wait, did Luke say that? No, no, just look at him. <laughs> oh, okay. He's kind of scary, yeah. <laughs> yes. If you saw that at the end of the hallway, what would you do? I'd just leave, go the other way. Don't mm. want any part of it. It would seem the photographs do not exist in this world. Photos don't exist? I guess that makes sense. Yay old time period and all. The sketch drawn by the court illustrator. Therein lies your final chance, Mr. Wright! My final chance. I understand the witnesses have already finished their testimony, however. If you could perhaps find the clear contradiction within the illustration. 
There's another contradiction? Yeah. In that case, there's still hope I can find and I can turn this around. Mr. Fright, you have to hurry. Look, the judge. Oh god. Holy shit. He looks ready to deliver the final blow any second now. This is it. This is my last chance. What should I do? Uh, point out. Give up. This is over. Game over, Just guys. Give up. Give the fuck up. Hold it! Hold it! Not even a choice. I don't know. One second, Your Honor. The defense requests permission to take another look at the court illustration. I think there might be a contradiction in there. Objection! Objection! You are already out of time. All testimony evidence given thus far have been proven to be accurate. Objection! Objection. I wouldn't be so sure, Inquisitor Barnum. Hmm. There's just one thing you've overlooked piece of evidence within this book. The Grand Grimoire. Absurd. I overlooked something? Are you the defender? You are the defender here. You should have examined the tome earlier. You're right. I should have. But unfortunately, I was nothing but a simple baker until just now. Interesting. You are certainly be should be come to show your true colors, Sir Blue Knight. Let us see what type of knight you truly are. Have at ye! The Defender will now show us this supposed contradiction. Core illustration in the Grand Grimoire. Somewhere there's a contradiction between those two. And I've got to find it. This is my last chance. Judge. Defender, use this magnifying glass to locate the point of relevance. Then reveal to the goal the location of this contradiction. Oh boy, oh boy. I guess it would be this one? I would think empty handed. Because it's obvious she's holding the mo. We've already talked about that, but empty handed. Yes, yeah, true. He's true. So do you, do you grant Grimoire now though? I no, don't you don't. Think so. Alright. I guess take that! One of these will work, yeah. Fuck oh, it. Shit, I'm sorry. Ah. Got it! The contradiction is right here. The end of the accused. She seems to be holding a lantern. What is your point? According to this tome, using the spell Ignaz requires the use of the witch's scepter as well as an incantation. Isn't that right? Correct. For witches to use magic, they must be in possession of the witch's scepter. Except also known as the ta Talia Magic the, the Scepter. Okay, he's saying it so matter-of-factly, how is he so blind to the obvious fact here? I just don't get it. If that's the case, then there's one thing that doesn't add up. Take another look at Miss Cantabella's hands. Tell me, <laughs> do you see the witch's scepter in either of her hands? <laughs> Rabble, 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 There we go, I love that rabble, and let's see you point that sword at me now, you little bitch boy. You did it, Mr. Wright. Oh, wait. But wasn't that contradiction just a little and too obvious? You may be right, Luke, my boy. He won. It would certainly appear that the good Inquisitor is taking this particular oversight rather too well. That is correct, Sir Apprentice Baker, but you should not underestimate me. 
This is perhaps your first time seeing this item. Is it not? What? what? Right here is the very scepter you mentioned. I'm sorry, but why would you hold this? Now I will kill you with this scepter. Oh my god. One of the witnesses found it tossed in the shrubbery on the side of the path. Oh, yes, indeed. That was I. I located it. My feet found themselves ensnared in the blasted thing, and it sent me flying through the air. Somehow, I'm not surprised to hear you fell, Gramps. <clears throat> this scepter does seem to carry a most sinister hair. Indeed, my lord. However, this scepter will only work while in the hands of a witch, with the incantation being said aloud. Ugh! It's too bad I want to try lighting stuff on fire! Please don't look at me when you say that. You see, there are two magic gems set in the scepter. Magic gems? Looks like a red gem and a white gem. These gems each contain a particular magic spell. Are those infinity stones? Maybe. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. That's a moonstone, and this is a fire stone. Oh, okay. By simply looking at these magic gems, one can determine the magic spell that can be used. Nick! Quick, look at this page! Look at, look at, look! Okay, okay, oh, ooh, it's, it's that a one! Oh my god, that's the perfect one! Uh, is that... the red magic gem? Indeed, the red gem you see here is the spell Ignaz. And if you look carefully, you should notice that the scepter also has one more spell that can be used. One more spell? That must be the white gem. Mr. Wright, I found it. Here's the spell for the white magic gem. Vanishing spell causes anything the caster touches to vanish from sight. Simply chant Amir to make it reappear. Interesting. So the person who actually did cast the bad thing could just make themselves disappear. I guess so. There's another person who did this. They stashed the scepter in the bushes. My god. How could they? Causes anything the caster touches to vanish from sight. <laughs> Hmm. I see you managed to work out in that crusty head of yours. That's just... It, it can't be! The reason the witch's scepter couldn't be seen is because the magic spell Zamir had made it disappear. Touchdown! That's right. In other words... The accused conjured a cowardly spell of camouflage. To you own her, her own use of magic. No. Oh. No way! Rabble. Rabble, rabble. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Rabble, 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 rabble. 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 Hold on, please! Is there a problem, Sir Baker? Okay, I understand this is a witch's scepter. However, whether or not the scepter is Miss Cantabella's possession has not yet been proven. What are you talking about, Sir Apprentice Baker? Isn't it obvious? I'm talking about fingerprints. Supposing Miss Cantabella did in fact handle this witch's scepter, then her fingerprints should still be on it! What are fingerprints? It won't. Huh? What? Hit him uh -huh. with the question marks, chat. What's with the silence? You said... Fingerprints. And it was at the bottom, tell me. Just what is this... Baker, blabbering about. I haven't the slightest goddamn clue, my lord. It is a Baker's first time in court, after all. Huh. 
Huh? You'd think a baker would figure out fingerprints in this world since he's been playing with dough all day. True. Flour. I'm afraid it's no use, Mr. Wright. In this world, it would seem the concept of fingerprints does not yet exist. What? I, I can't believe it. Use DNA. They probably know what DNA is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. As I've said already, best to head back to the bakery. Lest you continue to serve this court more of your half-baked ideas. You're about as half-baked as your terrible puns, Barnum. Forensic science does not exist here. Instead, this is a world in which witches and magics are accepted as fact. Truly fascinating. A magic steps and you need to cast spells. Available spells depend on the magic gems. What the heck? They're just... Way too many things I don't know about this world. Mr. Wright, I believe you may be able to take these things you don't know and use them to your advantage. Huh? The Inquisition believes there's no room for debate on this matter. The accused clearly attempted to conceal her magic. Better luck next time, Sir Apprentice Baker. Perhaps your next loaf will not leave such a bitter taste in our mouths. Now then, my lord, I believe it is time. I ask you that you render your unwavering verdict. Objection. A late Objection. Night. Whoa. Oh, I'm sitting to your side now. Pardon the interruption. May I have a word, Inquisitor Barnum? What's that? Who might you be? My name is Herschel Late. I am a friend of the accused. Percy's chocolate, very good. Hmm. That's because his whole suit's made of chocolate. Yeah. Inquisitor Bonham, please allow me to confirm that you believe happened on the night of the crime. You claim the witch's septum, or scepter, was made to disappear through the use of magic. Is that correct? Indeed. Their magic, the spell Demir. If possible, would you mind providing proof of this particular claim? What? You claim the scepter was not seen. Indeed, that is one possibility. However, a wise man must always consider every possibility. Hmm. What say you, Inquisitor Barnum? Can the Inquisition fulfill the request presented by the gentleman with the... Unusual act. The Inquisition cannot honor uh, this request for proof. If you are asserting that the accused is not a witch, then the burden of proof lies at the feet of the defender. Ah, oh, come on! It's the prosecu- the Inquisition's job to prove that a crime was committed. As I thought. Indeed, it would appear that the accepted method of thinking in this world differs greatly, greatly from our own. How regrettable, Sir Apprentice Baker. You and Sir Dark Hat. Rabble, ribble, ribble, Hold it! Inquisitor Bottom, sir! Should he require it, I send Rachel in my testimony. One gill. Knowing and I will not be dismissed so easily, we came here to expose the identity of this witch. Isn't that right, Precious? Bleh. Oh, just scepter, you say? Yes, yes, I know of such a scepter. Allow me to elucidate the matter. What do you think, Inquisitor Barnum? Your witnesses appear to have something to say on the subject. <laughs> Very well. More horrible our witnesses. I grant your request to testify once more. Tell the court all you know regarding this magic scepter. Well, somehow I managed to keep the trial going. I owe you one, Sir Dark Hat. Please, Mr. Wright. Mr. Layton will suffice. I hear your thoughts. That's weird.
Good. Okay. My solid, which is carrying a large notebook in one hand, let's say other. This girl had the lantern hanging from her wrist. Her hand was contorted in a strange way. I gotta go look at her hand and look for certain that she was gripping something. Which was holding a scepter in her right hand. She did not drop it once before she was apprehended. Wow. I see. The accused hand was contorted in a strange way. I do believe this is quite an important piece of testimony. I thought it was, I most certainly saw it. She was holding an invisible scepter. We saw it too. It was the girl up there, without a doubt. I as well. These old guys don't see as well as they once did, but I witnessed the hazy, blurry form the accused quite clearly. Don't tell the court you're blind. My eyesight is as sharp as the edge of my trusty, wiggly blade. Hmm, a toy sword. How fascinating. Although I wonder if he understands the implications of that analogy on his vision. So, Baker, you may proceed in. Or with your interrogation. Mr. Layton's given me another chance. Can't let it go to waste. Does Mia ever happen anymore? I don't know. This is about as far as I made it before I stopped playing. Like, I, uh, I miss the titties. Yeah, right? Yeah. Also, this guy over here... You yeah. saw holding her in her right oh, hand. Oh, look, where's the picture, dude? Yeah. Is right. it the right hand? What's in her right hand? Let's see. We don't have the picture. It was her right hand, though. Bug. But, like, he still saw the scepter in her right hand. But no, she wouldn't have seen it then. Right. He, he never, he didn't say that he saw it, just that she was holding it. There's a difference there. Like, the other person said that her hand was contorted. As if holding something, I think that's what he means. I think the important thing there, though, is that he says that she didn't drop it, and they found it in the bush. Yeah, what's the evidence uh, on the uh, scepter right now? Does it say discarded or some shit? Details? Uh, oh. Hmm. How rump. Oh shit! I'm mm. sorry. Sorry for what? Hmm. Uh, fancy shit. Um. Hmm. But yeah, it was said that this was found in a bush. By him. Yeah, so I'm gonna just press him. Maybe em. just press him, yeah. Hold it! Hold it, sir. Let me get this straight. There was no way for you to see this invisible scepter, was there? Well, now that's common sense, boy. One cannot see what is not there to be seen. In that case, there was also no way you could tell me whether or not she might have dropped a scepter. Well, these old eyes of mine have holding it on her hand like a hawk until they couldn't see straight. The young lady was most certainly holding an invisible scepter in her right hand while at the same time also carrying the lantern. Or do you perhaps possess some piece of evidence to suggest that she dropped the scepter? Your testimony, perhaps? There hasn't been any evidence so far to suggest Ellis Bella was holding the scepter. Evidence suggesting the scepter was dropped, now that is an interesting idea. Uh-huh. If Espella did not have the scepter in her hand, it would have been impossible for her to use any magic. Well, yeah, that's true. Hmm, I suppose. Might there be a piece of evidence that could prove this? I Something mean... to prove that Spella was not holding the scepter at the time of the murder. He was holding the lantern. How would a scepter get it past the lantern? Or rather, oh. how would it pass the scepter? She was hearing the, the very tip of it. Oh, yeah, that makes most sense, though. Yeah. In other words, evidence is evidence to show that even if Espella had been holding the scepter, she would have dropped it. 
Is everything all right, Mr. Wright? The truth that ha what happened in that brief instant will likely decide to spell his fate. I have to do everything I can to find a contradiction in these So was there a contradiction about holding the lantern or dropping it? Because we now know she, there's no way she could have dropped it. I don't think she even had it in the first place. Well, no, that totally. But I'm saying is that any of the people here is like, yeah, she dropped the lantern. I mean, they found it. Bro. Right there. Hmm. The grimace in her hand was contorted in a strange way. Hmm. Had a good look at her hand and it looked like for certain she was gripping something. I think you present the lantern there, but... I mean, you could always use a hint coin, too. Just oh, to, like, yeah. narrow down what testimony is wrong. Maybe. What'd you say, Snake? What's the last name again? Or is that the... Hmm. I would present the lantern here. You think so? Because if she was holding something in her right hand, an invisible scepter, the lantern would not have come off her hand. And it's broken and muddy. Oh, true. Interesting. Okay. Fuck it. Yeah, let's fucking do it, dude. You're genius. Objection. And roll. There is a high probability that Miss Cantabella was not holding the scepter. But if, for the sake of argument, that she had been holding it. She would undoubtedly have dropped it at the time of the incident. What do you mean? What I mean, Inquisitor Barnum, is that this lantern proves the defendant was not holding the scepter! Objection! Objection! What, what foolishness are you spouting, Sir Prince Baker? The lantern's handle was around the accused wrist! Objection, Objection jackass! Meaning she could have helped have held the scepter? I'm afraid that's not the problem here, Inquisitor Barnum. If that is your real name. The problem is with the broken glass, and the mud splattered all over it. What? The rain had just ended just a fucking let me rephrase that. The rain had ended just as the murder was taking place. That would make the path fairly muddy, don't you agree? When the thieves grabbed Miss Cantabella by the arm, the lantern must have fallen to the mud. The lantern? Fell into the mud? Why, of course. That makes sense, doesn't it, my little snowy woey? Meh. Well, <laughs> what do you say, Inquisitor Barnum? If she was holding the scepter at that time... That would mean that she would have dropped the- wait, fuck, I keep saying words wrong. That would Me mean too. that when she dropped the lantern, the scepter would have fallen along with it! <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Inquisitor Barnum seems to be pissed that the defender managed to turn the thing around. Even though he's just some baker. Uh. No way! We pay the witches to accomplish this, no heed. They're just trying to trick you. Barnum, 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 Barnum. I'm the best. <laughs> no, no, just do what? Hold it! What, one moment, please. <laughs> Everyone, please listen. Do we really all just stand here and explain the court what we clearly saw? Yes, you do. It's the lantern! So what? What's so special about it? Explain it so I can understand! I'm really stupid! S so that you can... understand? Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious just by looking at it. Mr. Wright. What is it, Mr. Layton? There is something about this witness. I bet she's the witch. Huh? 
Miss Kira, was it? Tell me, Miss Killa. How good is your eyesight exactly? <laughs> As you just heard Mr. Wright explain, the answer isn't your, uh, to your query is quite obvious at, the, at a glance. Tell me, are you able to see the mud pres present on this lamp? My... What my... What are you talking about? Hmm... <clears throat> Your Honorer, did you just hear that just now? Ah, uh, uh, yes indeed. What does it mean, exactly? It means Miss Killer, poor eyesight, is the reason she cannot see the mud present on this lantern. <clears throat> In other words, the validity of Miss Killer's testimony is questionable at best. Order. Order in the court. What is the meaning of this? What you say, what say you in your defense, witness? I truly recommend you give us nothing but the truth. I'm sorry, Inquisitor Barton. It's true. I need to wear glasses. Tell me about it. All the time. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> you need to wear glasses. Aha! Uh -huh. Now that you mention it, I did notice something odd about you today. Oh, I thought you looked familiar. Garnish the mist that clouded my mind in its place. Clarity. Fair maiden, a pair of spectacles are valuable as a shield to a knight. Make haste and procure another pair. Now then, Miss Kira, tell me, at the time of the incident, were you wearing your glasses? No, no, I was not wearing them. The truth is, I, I lost my glasses a couple of days ago. You lost them? So, your glasses were missing during the time of the incident. Mr. Wright, I recommend that you keep note of that fact. It could prove useful later. Got it. Kira has poor eyesight and wears glasses. She lost them a few days before the incident. Hmm. Am I to believe there's nothing left to prove on this matter? At the time of the murder, the accused did not have a witch's scepter in her possession. Rebel. Hold it! Just wait just a moment! Bleh. Snowy and I have much more Bleh. left to say! Bleh, 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 bleh. Bleh, 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 bleh. That's right! My trusty sword of justice shall cut through the witch's treacherous lies! Uh, I... Uh, fuck this fuck. Whatever. I... I may have lost my glasses, but... I haven't lost my will to testify! Arf! Mm -hmm. Delicious! Rika, I remember now. Oh, they sure has a way of sneaking up on me. I'm sure you must understand. Yeah, I understand. I understand you're all completely ridiculous. It would seem we have not yet arrived at a clear-cut verdict. Witnesses, you may once again begin to testify to Third the court. Third test testimony. Oh my God. Tell us about the scepter and how it was used in this detestable display of witchcraft that you own witness tonight. Okay, what do you gotta say, bitch boy? <gasps> The girl was not holding the scepter in the same hand as the lantern, which means it must have been her other hand. Uh, this must have been. There was milk. The accused is holding a milk bucket in the court illustration. Who's to say she wasn't holding a scepter in that hand? That milk bucket is lighter than it looks. Even Snowy could carry it, so she could have easily had the scepter as well. The bad. I did not see the smoke bucket. Everything felt like an illusion. Illusions, Michael. Mm. God damn it. The scepter was in our other hand, you say? Indeed, such a proposal is feasible. Sir Baker. Yes, Your Honor. 
It is the strangest thing. The longer this trial goes on, the more you begin to resemble a legitimate defender. Huh? Uh. Well, no matter. Defender, you may begin your interrogation. Okay. Shit. Can we look at the bucket? Bucket. Let me click it. Let me click it. Let me click. Bucket. There we go. Oh, no bucket. No buckets. Fuck. Yo, look at that scepter, dude. Okay. Mm -hmm. Details. Mm -hmm. There it is. Mm -hmm. Alright, this helps me none. Thank uh, you. Yep, you're welcome. It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, this. What's that? Grand Grimoire. Okay. A uh, vanishing spell causes anything the caster touches. Oh to shit! Would she make the bucket also disappear if that was the? Maybe that's why it's gone. I mean, no. Does it have to be with? I don't understand how this works. This is vague. Anything the caster touches that it does that it imply anything that she touches with her hands or in general? If it's with her body, hands, she's immediately hands. nude. I like this spell. That's a good spell. <laughs> Is there a hand that's casting the? I, I assume it'll be with the hand that's casting the spell. But I mean, when also the, the bad guys go away, the muggers. I mean, maybe yeah. Hmm. Okay. What did what did the blind lady see? Holding a milk bucket in the court illustration, well, who's to say she wasn't also holding a scepter in that hand? I feel Let's like that's silly. We can't. That's the dumbest part. Oh. There's no way to actually see it. I hate... She's adorable, but I hate her. <laughs> Looks better with the glasses. Oh, yeah, much better. Hmm. All right. Defendant accused of witchcraft killing two men with fire spell. Two victims killed with magic when threatening the defendant. Abracadabra. Boom shaka day. I'm Violent J and I'm back like a vertebrae. A witness, passionate about becoming a knight, currently unemployed. A witness, owner of a farm near the market, seems to have a fixation with goat's milk. A witness, flower girl, who usually wears glasses but lost them somewhere. A witness, mysterious old guy. Totally detached from reality. Yeah, that's reasonable. Same. <laughs> All right, what else do we got here? Milk bucket is lighter than it looks. Even Snowy could carry it, so she could have easily held the scepter as well. But why? Bucket's lighter than, but it had milk in it. Yeah. I'm gonna press she knows her. her milk, dude. She does. I'm gonna press her on it. Hold it. Hold it, ma'am. Just one second, Miss Mary. What is it now? Snowy and I have, don't have all night, you know. Come on, then, out with it. I just have one question regarding your testimony. How exactly did you know that the bucket Miss Cantabella was carrying was light enough for Snowy to carry? Oh my God! Carry? Mary had a little lamb. I'm stupid. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I, uh, well, free me from this hell. You see, the girl always uses the same bucket whenever she comes to buy milk from us. Naturally, I would have seen that bucket countless times before. You've seen it countless times before? That doesn't answer my question. You specifically said that the bucket is lighter than it looks. Miss Mary, at some point tonight, you must have held that bucket yourself. Now then, please enlighten us to exactly when you got your hands on the bucket. Bear. It's true. By that time, rubs and mugs had already burnt to ash. And then... I noticed the milk in that bucket that the girl had been holding in her hand. The... 
milk. Then, when those two went up in a blaze, Snowy and I made a dash for the bucket. As the girl stood there looking confused, we took the milk from her to make sure it was okay. Uh huh? A, a believable witness, you. Well, it was just so wasteful, the thought of all that disgusting ash falling into such precious milk. I felt I just had to protect the milk, so I took the bucket back to the farm with me. Madam, do you mean to tell the court that you took evidence from a crime scene back home with you? Knight, slay that woman. <laughs> that explains why we were unable to locate the milk bucket at the scene. You're scaring poor Snowy! Here, I brought the bucket back with me anyway, see? I didn't even tap it with the milk! Oh boy, you can't hold anything with sure that bucket. You didn't. Yeah. There's no way they could. The court shall accept this milk bucket as evidence. Yeah, that's way too. The handle's way too low. There's no fucking way. Yep. Milk bucket a spell was carrying at the time of the crime. Mary brought it back to her farm. Looks like that's one more piece of evidence for us. Now, will the gentleman with the impressive beard proceed with his testimony? I did not see this milk. Oh, wait. Yeah, so we, we need to go that. back to where she was holding the fucking wand. He's wait, go uh, back. What does it say she wasn't holding a scepter in that hand? Uh, this one? Could he uh, easily held the scepter as well. Yeah, you're right. Objection, Bucket! OBJECTION! Your own evidence, dummy! All of your testimonies have come to the same conclusion. The scepter was not in her right hand with the lantern, therefore it must have been in her other hand. That was holding the bucket. Is that you, Brock Sampson? Yep. Yeah. However, that's not it. Not by a long shot. What do you mean? Contrary to what one of the witnesses stated, the milk bucket was in fact at the crime scene. And you'll also notice something about this bucket. Take another look at the court illustration. Something about the bucket seems a bit odd, wouldn't you say? Objection! Objection! This illustration was based on eyewitness accounts, so small discrepancies or two are perceived, I guess. Objection! Objection. Actually, Inquisitor Barnum, it's highly likely that this illustration is much less accurate than you think. In fact, there is a blatant contradiction present in this illustration. That's not the same buck. Admittedly, it does at first look possible that Miss Cantabella was holding the scepter and the bucket at the same time. However, if you look at the real milk bucket, that possibility goes up in smoke. Here, let's have a look at the real deal. Notice the handle? Mm, that cannot be. Oh, but it is. This particular milk bucket has two pieces of wood on either side of the handle. If you were to try and hold both the scepter and the bucket, well, let's just say that'd be a challenge. To put it simply, there is no way anyone could hold both the bucket and the scepter at once! Whoa! Mama. 
It looks like the witnesses are as surprised about this as Barnum. The defendant couldn't have been able to hold the bucket and the scepter at once. Also, we have already established that she was not holding a scepter in her right hand. Therefore, the defendant, Miss Aspella Cantabella, was not holding a witch's scepter at any point during the incident! That is all from Ravels. Order. Okay. For I just want. What is the meaning of this? Who's this child in the courtroom? God damn it, I love this game. Take my last bit. Oh, thanks. Mine now. Thanks, boy. These are ours. <laughs> Appreciate it. In all my days as a judge of this court, I've never heard such an argument. These are but a paltry set of words, and yet they ring with such remarkable strength. Your honor, what you just heard was logic. Uh, logic? Uh, my only weakness. What is these two? They, they just silenced Inquisitor Barnum. They got quantum brains! Hurts. Such foolishness. This 200 IQ. This must be some type of witchcraft. Wait, do you think? I'm trying not to think. Witches? It would seem that the concept of logic does not exist in this world. So nice. Let's take this chance to knock the case down a peg or two. I'm worried if we keep this up, we'll all be joining a spell in a one-way trip to the flames. Objection! Objection! Is he dabbing? Touchdown! Oh. <laughs> Most intriguing. A knight allows his sword to speak for him during battle. You have spoken with the words of sort of words. So be it. I too shall wield such a blade. What do you mean? Sir Blue Knight, there appears to be a hole in this, uh, logic of yours. A hole? According to the earlier testimony, it was believed the accused had a lantern hanging from her wrist by the handle. However, she has supposedly dropped it, hence it was covered in mud. That's right. While that may be true, it does not necessarily mean the accused was therefore unable to use magic. Uh... It was merely a question of when she dropped the witch's scepter. You won't. It is very system or simple, my lord. The accused, while first holding the lantern and the witch's scepter, cast her magic. Then she dropped both the lantern and the scepter. Which is set to was dropped after the spell was cast. Of course, yes, that must be it. Easy. Get fucked, like, or fucking Phoenix, right? Damn. What you say? What say you, Blue Knight? That is but a taste of knightly knowledge of the Inquisition! Well, 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 well. Oh, yeah, 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 it sure seems that way. Just a moment ago, it seemed like he never even heard of a logical debate. Now he's suddenly using it against us. This guy's no joke, that's for sure. He's got a scar to prove it. Mm, just now! Oh, wow. Now then, most unhorrible witnesses, I ask you to lend us aid once more. Another testimony! Another one! Uh. Give us more testimony!
and I requested you to testify again. Tell us which occurred first, the dropping of the lantern or the casting of the spell. Witnesses, you may begin your testimonies. Tell this court in your own words about the sequence of events which transpired tonight. Interesting. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. God damn it. Thank you, sweet BB. And another uh, one. Another one. Of course, the lantern fell to the ground after the incantation of Ignace Sploosh. I'm sure as snowy as white. I made certain that keep my eyes peeled on that milk bucket after all. Besides, how can you be sure that Lancer fell just because there was a little mud on it? These eyes don't lie! I saw the lantern in the accused's hand when the incantation was uttered. Tell me about it! You got it! Hmm. Figures. Testimonies are all over the place now. These four testimonies, they are most interesting. The witnesses all saw the same thing, and yet... People's memories are evidently quite fickle. They could never be truly reliable source. Well then, Professor, with enough poking and prodding and stabbing, I bet we can really cause their testimonies to crumble. Get to stabbing, Luke. Of course. We need to exploit their fickle memories to turn this around. You got this, Nick! Well, press them! Press them real hard! Even they'll remember they what they had for breakfast! Press them! I can't even remember what I had for breakfast. Now, Sir Baker, you may begin your interrogation. Holy shit. I feel like we've been doing this for four hours. Four hours? Oh my god. This is so much. Oh god. Okay, the lantern fell to the ground after the incantation of Ignatius Splish. Splish? I sure as snow is what I made certain to keep my eyes peeled on that milk bucket after all. Bah! That doesn't That's really what happened. Yeah. No, no, the thing about the incantation. Oh. Oops. But earlier, you stated that Miss Cantabella opened up a pop, had the lantern hanging from her wrist. Oh, this is me. Well, not quite. Actually, you know what? Jun doesn't have any voices. Do you licky, want... Licky, licky. Mm. Do you want some, Jun? You lick. Mmm. Dude, I'm still eating my sandwich. How? Lick, I'm Just I made another one. Mm and you made another one? Okay. I oh. wish I could make sandwiches mid. You want another lick? Right? Mm well, not quite. We didn't say for certain. We only believed it was on her wrist. Believed? Yes, yes, precisely. You know how you sniff milk when you're not quite sure if it's gone bad? And then your nose is assaulted by that foul odor that you weren't expecting? Well,. It's a bit like that. Heed my words, madam. Do not make a habit of stealing for your own safety. We said we're sorry. Please, it was all Snowy's fault. But, bitch! <laughs> Brother. Anyway, we can confidently say that we both saw the milk bucket, right, Precious? And as for the lantern falling, we don't know much about that, do we now, Shnookums? You threw me under the bus! Yeah, that's, that's fucked up. What's that? When, like, I remember specifically during the... The, uh, the cutscene, the lantern fell. The flame dissipated when it fell into the mud, and then she said Ignaze. The lantern fell first. Hmm... How do we prove our meta-knowledge? Yeah, yeah, right? I mean, it's kinda tough. Shit. It has to do with that statement, though. You can be sure the lantern fell just because of the mud. Oh, here. No, not that one. The uh, the the other the one. First the first one. Man. Yeah. I press that one. Thank you, Mush, but this guy gives you another sub. Okay, fell to the ground after the incantation of Ignaz. So that's just straight up lie right there. How would we prove that? I'm By pressing him. Says. Oh, okay. Might Hold give you more it. evidence. Hold it, sir. The lantern fell after the incantation. Are you positive about that? I say I am positively positive that I am positive. I heard her voice and then sploosh. 
That's sploosh. Was that the sound of the lantern hitting the ground? Or was it the milk? Indeed, but of course. Do you see? But if you look at the lantern, you'll notice that the glass is unshattered. Oh, it is shattered. You specifically said you heard a sploosh. Shouldn't you have heard a sound of... Oh, did I say sh... Did it say shattered? said unshattered. Oh. I thought. I probably did. Shouldn't you have heard the sound of glass shattering when it hit the ground? The sound of glass shattering? No, I'm afraid I failed to catch a drift. Oh, she does, though. Uh-oh. I was present in an area a bit farther away from the crime scene, you see. I have no recollection of hearing such a sound. No recollection? Precisely so. I'll have you know I can easily hear a dog barking across town. Do not underestimate my hearing. I wasn't. Relax, Grandpa. There's nothing of interest in this testimony. Will a witness with a goat please proceed with their testimony? Uh, uh, right. You mean us. You started us, didn't you, Snowy? <laughs> okay, so, why did... I'm sure Snowy is white. That makes her Nikki Mouse build that milk book. Why did it pop up with something? Is it someone know. else? No, I think it was definitely the little woman because her eyes like did the crazy thing. Maybe that was like a hint to do it on her? Maybe. But know. also it contradicts that she um didn't hear the sploosh or see the sploosh, I guess. Because she was keeping her eyes on the bucket. I mean, we know the bucket didn't drop. It still has the milk in it. And she right. took it. She said, didn't she say she walked up and took it off her arm? You think it'd be different if we pressed her now? Maybe? Just go through real fast, even then. Hold it! Hold it, ma'am. But earlier, you stated that Miss Cannabella had a lantern hanging from her wrist. Well, uh -huh. not quite. We didn't see her certain believe on her wrist. Believed is the same thing. Precisely. Your nose is assaulted by the foul stuff. He my words don't steal. Don't steal. Oh my god, I'm sorry. It was the Snowy's fault. Bah. Oh, brother. Anyway, we still didn't see shit. It's related to falling in snow, schnookums. Okay. Oh, that was weird. Hmm. I'm gonna make, be sure the lantern fell just because it has a little mud on it. That's kind of weird, right? I mean, is that so? pressing? Like, other people are saying because it it's fell. broken, because it's shattered. That's oh, how yeah. we know. Oh, you're oh, right. Yeah. yeah. So maybe it was her the whole time. What do you mean, John? You get this girl. I, I clearly already have a voice for you, but you just don't appreciate it. But so it's for the people I... that all tab so they can listen and still get the good gist, though. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do this with the sandwich in my mouth. No. Where? Mm, no. Yeah, well, fuck it. Maybe the bottom was already at the lantern before any of this happened. Do you ever think of that? Where any of this happened? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's been there since last week. It did rain last week, too, after all. And if that's the case, then there really is any point arguing about whether or not she dropped the lantern, right? It's dilly dally shilly shally. Fuck off. I say, take a closer look at the lantern. You'll notice there's mud on the glass. Mud on the glass? The lantern wouldn't be very useful with all the mud blocking out the light. Miss Kira. I'd say your little theory regarding this lantern is muddy at best. Sick. Oh my god. We could point a witness until the cows come home. That wouldn't turn this testimony into anything I can use. Gotta find a lead somewhere. Alright, so I think right here is where we just freaking give the lantern, right? Yeah, I think so. It's a contradiction after all. What was the, the other guy's statement? 
Lantern accused was when I saw the lantern accused him when the incantation was. I didn't mean to press that. Now we gotta sit through this scene. What do you think, Nick? Do you do know these fishes? Yeah, maybe. Because they're so delicious. I think there may be something I can use. Oh, uh, really? Wow, I didn't hear anything special. I'm done. There was definitely something out of place about that one when it says time money. It was something I haven't noticed from any of the witnesses so far. It appears you may have found something, Mr. Wright. A four witness cross examination. This is something I've never done before. But then, maybe there is another way I should be tackling this. I believe it is worth entrusting your intuition, Mr. Wright. Okay, I got it. Alright, let's try pressing that old man one more time. Maybe that was what that thing meant. I guess so. Double press. Okay. Hold it! Hold it! Lancet fell after the incantation. He positive of that. He's positive, he's positive, positive of it. I say I'm positively positive that I have a little sploosh. A little sploosh. Uh -huh. Okay, so he's positive. So can we just use his testimony against the other one's testimony? Maybe. Glass shattered. Uh -huh. Glass is shattered. He specifically said sploosh. Sploosh. See, that sounds weird with the sploosh part. Sploosh. Sound of glass shattering. No. Nope. He hears a dog barking from across town, dude. Ugh! What is that? What is that? Look, she's raising her hand. She wants to add something. I just don't get it. She's freaking out. She's Hold like, you idiot. Hold Ooh. it. There it is. Right there. I knew I heard something strange. Oh, is this showing this mechanic, I'm guessing, now? It was a tutorial all along. This whole, we're, we're in a tutorial still? Huh, but old Greybeard didn't say anything weird. Maya, it's not the old guy that said something weird. It's the person next to him. Next to him? What does that mean? Ah, look there, Professor. The goat lady. She looks really deep in thought. It would seem... She has noticed something odd in the elder gen elderly gentleman's testimony. Oh, 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 oh. That's right! These cross-examinations have four witnesses. Hey, Nick! It looks like we're not the only ones paying attention around these testimonies! Right. Which means... If they're all listening to each other's testimonies... Correct, Mr. Wright. Each witness is fully aware of themselves and their own actions when they're in the middle of their own testimonies. However, it is while listening to the testimonies of others that the witness may sometimes reveal the most valuable information. I see. It's habitual. They can't tell they're doing it. But I can. And I'm gonna use it to turn the tide back in our favor. In fact, I do believe I may have spotted our first opening to which to test this new technique. Mr. Wright, could you draw the attention of the touch screen? Hell yeah! The touch screen. I'm breaking the fourth wall. Oh, okay. Slide the magnifying glass or the witness when you shift your focus across the other witnesses. You're welcome. Right, so the important thing here is the witness that's in mid-testimony. Wait, isn't the witness in mid-testimony? It's the other three witnesses listening. It's just a matter of catching them off guard and questioning them. What are you waiting for, Nick? Give it a shot, just, just do it. How about that? Try questioning gold lady right next to old beard. Okay. All I have to do is slide the magnifying glass over to that witness. Oh boy. Okay, sound of glass shattering. No, I'm afraid I failed to catch oh. your drift. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Hang on! Hang on! <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Miss, uh, Mary? Oh, do you mean us? Um, but Snowy and I have nothing else to say. I knew it. I caught her completely by surprise. Mr. Wordsmith just gave his testimony. He told us all about the sound he heard when the lantern fell to the ground. Mr. Wordsmith didn't seem too sure, but I wonder if you might have had something to say about this. 
Huh? Well, that's... Mm -hmm. Is that all right, Sir Bonham? May we answer the question? Ugh. Do what you will, madam. There's no need for formalities. It's only huh? life or death, I guess. Well, uh, we'll try to explain, won't we, Snowy? The truth is, we did hear something. That is to say, we heard the sound of the lantern's glass shattering. We're sure of it! It was frighteningly loud. You go sploosh? <gasps> sploosh! It quite startled us, didn't it, Snowy dear? It, I looked in the direction of the sound, but... I couldn't see anything, let alone the girl or those two thieves. It was a tad dark, after all. When the glass shattered, the flame inside them must have gone out, and she could not see them. That seems to be the gist of it. Then, as I peered into the darkness, I heard it. Splooge! You heard it. What did you hear exactly? You know, that I heard. Get your ass back here, slaves. Get your ass back here. What? 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 What'd you say? What? Now, now, hold it right there, witness. Y yes, my lord. The glass shattering when the lantern fell. Then, after that, you heard the incantation of the spell. You heard it, Ignaz. Do you swear to this court that this is, without a doubt, correct? Uh, uh yes. Maybe, I think. Uh, how about my testimony? What of my or oracle observation? Who taught that, you that word? The lost spell Ignace did, and it occurred first. Then the lantern plummeted to the ground, observing. Is John making another sandwich? I'm eating. Oh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I had no such thing! There was no sound of shattering glass! Absurd! Simply absurd! So Landry fell and the glass shattered! That does not change the very fact that this girl is a witch! Objection! Objection. I hate to disappoint you, but that's not quite the case. In fact, this testimony changes things a lot. Wouldn't you agree, Inquisitor Barnum? Uh. You. Let's go over what we know so far. In order for a witch to use any magic, they must be holding a witch's scepter. And yet, none of the four witnesses saw the defendant holding a scepter of any kind. That's because the scepter was made to disappear at the spill to marry, correct? At the time of the crime, the two victims grabbed Miss Cantabella's arm, causing her to drop the lantern onto the ground. If, at the time, she was in fact holding an invisible scepter, then the scepter must have fallen when she dropped the lantern. Now, let's say, hypothetically, that Miss Cantabella really is a witch. He admits it! No, hypothetically, it means... Oh, what's that word mean? Fake. He's a witch! Ah, goddamn. In order to use any magic, she would have had to recite this spell before dropping the scepter. However, as our witness, Miss Mary, has just stated in her testimony, she heard the incantation for Ignaz after hearing the lantern sh glass shot her. <laughs> ah! Rabble. You do all understand what that means, don't you? It means that Miss Cantabella, the supposed witch you've locked up, could not possibly have cast any magic.
Therefore, the defendant, Aspella Cantabella, is clearly in no way, shape, or form a witch. Warg. <laughs> Bye. Oh my God. Oh, uh... Full combo. Sucks. Frivolity. Do you realize what you're insinuating? Do you really think she's not a witch? Oh, such nonsense. Very of you even listen to my testimony. Yeah, we did, but you're wrong. There was no glass shadow ring. Are you calling me a liar, Missy? You couldn't even see the mud in the lantern, but it was plain as day. Yeah, what ridiculous claims, all of you! Are you gonna cut them? You're dead! You're oh. fucking dead! Witnesses, this is a court of law, not a playground. Must I remind you of the importance of these proceedings? Witches and their magic threaten our fair town Labyrinthia. Your words here today could decide the fate of every single citizen within our walls. Do you understand? Execution. As such, I expected you, each of you to take a knee. I'm, you're dead. You're fucking dead, but <laughs> please be honest from now on. Oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Rebel. In all my days of judge in this court, I've never seen such behavior. Behavior that leads a cloud of doubt over the credibility of each of your testimonies. Indeed, my lord. Quite a miserable set of witnesses this lot. Hmm, I see. It would appear this trial has come to a sudden halt. Huh? So, that must mean... Mm, quite right. Time for a recess. <laughs> yeah, of course. It means you win! We've... won? I, I can hardly believe the situation we have found ourselves in. I did not anticipate this trial ending with such a strange turn of events. But due to these witnesses' dubious credibility, I see no reason to continue. What say you, Inquisitor Barnum? I say give him another testimony. Why the fuck not? You know what I'm saying? No, uh, yeah, well, yeah, what do you got, dude? Well, what is rebel, going rebel, on? Rebel, 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 they're rebel, rebel, they're rebel, actually rebel. gonna let this witch run rebel. free through this town. Curses, you must have for that witch and her friends. Barnum, 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 Oh god, who the fuck is that? Who is this? It's just some guy. This trial ain't even close to being over. Not Thank god for I some guy. Okay, some guy. That's what we need, a drunk. Yeah, I'll take a drunk. Order! Order! Who is this? This buffoon? Damn, Snake, you got good. I will not listen to such buffoonery. <laughs> Holy shit! I'll take blast. you ask? Who am I? Why? I'm the man that's gonna single-handedly save this trial. I'm the fifth witness. <laughs> Say what? He's establishing his credibility already by swinging what? alcohol. Even Barnum didn't see this one coming. Uh, John? I'm. I don't. You're honestly, your disrespect for my sandwich is frankly like unbecoming <laughs> of our friendship. I'm sorry, it's just you have the least lines. It's just gonna sit here and get moldy now and I'm like, sorry. Why, the fuck? why did I even make it? Why did I make it? I don't know. You know what? Well, just let me go throw it away real quick and I'll do your fucking even... right back. <laughs> he could read them while eating it. It's not hard. You just put it in your mouth and. 
hard. All right, I threw away my peanut butter too. Oh, okay, oh my I'm not gonna God. be making any more sandwiches. The whole fucking jar. Fucking Hitler squad. All right. <clears throat> Just as I thought, this trial was going down to full the drain before I even got here. I'm a little drunk. All right, you lot, assemble. We need a strategy meeting ASAP. Also, a AAA meeting, double A, whatever the fuck it is. I say, who are you? Thank goodness you showed up. <laughs> it has come down to this. To arms, everyone! We shall new battle against the baker and the hat seller. I, I can't believe this. What the heck is going on? Hmm, truly fascinating. It seems a new witness has taken the stand. What's more, he appears to be a quite formidable witness. What makes you uh, think that? What? Well, uh, rabble, 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 I guess. rabble. This I child is still far from over. Thank God. Oh man. Oh, okay, we're done tonight. There's no fucking way we're doing more. I'm sorry. We so I could have kept my sandwich. Holy shit! Yeah, why do you go get away? out of the trash quick? Go get dude. out of the trash. Thirty seconds. Nah, dude, rule. I already took the trash out and fucking burned it. So it's just never gonna be no chance. How did you do it so fast? They have I a compost heap. Oh, okay, that's fair. He lives in a trash can. Oh, <laughs> bitch! I live in a trash can. Okay, we're fuck. Nope, nope. Don't look at. Goodbye. It. Goodbye. Goodbye. Boy. Goodbye. Oh. That was four and a half hours of fucking that. Just a simple sandwich. What is a sandwich? What is a sandwich? But it's a measly, a, miser miserable. a miserable pile of carbs. Pile of carbs. <laughs> <laughs> Enough talk. Have at thee. <laughs>